So, what's on here right now is my E50 base map. Um, this is what you guys get sent out, same tune, same file. Uh, I've tuned thousands of these trucks at this point, so I know this base file is on, on point, it's going to be close. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the truck into fourth gear and I'm going to do a pull and see what it makes. My guess is this base file will make between 475 and 485, but let's take a look and see what it does. Spot on. So now I'm going to make changes from here. Okay, so we are starting another pull here in a sec. So I'm just going to leave it here. Um, we're going to be going stage two next. So this is about typical. Um, I tell people 485 to, to 505, um, and it, it just depends. This is my, my 2019, you know, and the, my 2018 made 515 or 520, something like that. So it just, it varies. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave it here. Um, I'm actually not even going to drive it at this, this level here. I'm going to leave the truck here at Hammer, and they're going to be installing some uh, bumpers for me. So. I'm going to pull off the dyno now and call it, but you guys can expect anywhere between 485 and 505 wheel horsepower. So right on par. So we just finished up the stage one tuning. Uh, you saw the numbers on the dyno and now we're going to move on to stage two. So we just received these parts from Cobb. Uh, this is the majority of what makes up stage two, which is really just an intercooler, but Cobb sent us some extra goodies. So let's take a look and see what they gave us. Now, some of these things you've seen highlighted on our previous build, Marley's 2019, uh, but here's a front mount intercooler from Cobb. This is a silver one. It's gonna be the one that goes behind the grill. I like this one in particular, especially in our environment. It gets really hot here in the summertime, so having a bigger intercooler uh, that's more efficient is gonna do a better job of dissipating the heat and getting the charger attempts down. So that's why I decided to go with the bigger one. The next thing we have here is a carbon fiber scoop. Now this is something you've also seen on Marley's. I think I have some, some video of it. Uh, if I do, I'll throw it up here. But this scoop is really nice. It's, it's carbon fiber and it looks really, really good. So we're gonna match that up with our carbon fiber intake system. This is the new intake system from Cobb that includes the hydrocarbon trap and that's also on carbon fiber. So we're gonna try to coordinate all these things. The next thing we have is the radiator shroud. And we've had this before as well. Uh, you guys have seen this, but we're gonna put this on. We also have the carbon fiber coolant cover. And this is also very, very cool. So we're gonna get all these things thrown on, put it back on the dyno, make some more power on stage two. And then once we get those things taken care of and stage two all wrapped up, then we'll move into the GT750 kit. And that's actually where it's gonna be pretty cool and we're gonna make some more power. So this should make right around 450, 460 to the wheels. Um, then with E85 in the tank, it should make 500, 520. And then, yeah, we install the bigger turbos, we install the AMS Cata downpipes, and we move on to the GT750. for all of you who are wondering about stock location intercoolers and how they fit with the ADD bumper. That retains stock location intercooler fit. And this is the ADD Pro Bolton version 2. You can see the intercooler back there. So it definitely retains the location. And here is your ACC relocation bracket. Fits nicely right behind the grill. So this is exactly what I wanted, this is awesome. Got the ADD back bumper, ADD front bumper, perfect. Thank you guys, really appreciate all the hard work you guys have done. So now it's on to getting the stage two parts on. Um, what I may do is I may get the intake on, I may do the carbon fiber stuff under the hood that Cobb has supplied, uh, I'm not really too sure. But the intercooler is gonna go on, then we're gonna do stage two, and we're gonna tune that and get the numbers for you guys. 
So let's go. It's got this carbon steering wheel installed. So I did it myself. Um, it's nice, I like it. It's got big, uh, big grips, so that's a cool thing. Um, but yeah, now we're all set up to do our stage two install. Um, I got the auto tech screen, so I can't remember who gave me the link for that on the forums, but thank you. I got that, so that's gonna be a big screen here. Um, I think that's about it as far as uh, aesthetics go. Um, yeah, we just gotta get our intercooler installed. We gotta get the intakes and all the, the dress up parts from Cobb. Uh, I wanna thank those guys too. Huge thanks to those guys. Uh, that's gonna be awesome to get that stuff installed. And once that's done, then we'll get back on the dyno at Hammer and see what the truck makes and go from there. So I'm very excited. This is awesome. Starting to feel like a different truck, which is cool. That's always a good experience when you start modifying stuff where things start to feel different. So yeah, we'll uh, hit the dirt here for a little bit and see how it does and then get back home and get to tune in you guys. So I have a few emails right now that I need to get to. So we'll see you guys soon. we're going to do today is we're going to remove the stock radio and we're going to put the AutoTech Pro screen in. I've always wanted that big uh, Tesla style screen and so that's what we're going to do today. So I've already got some of the dash apart. I'll show you guys but we're going to take the stock radio inside and we're going to move all of the electronics over to the AutoTech and then we're going to reinstall the AutoTech. Check this out. So here's what it looks like. I pulled the stock touch screen out but before I did that I removed the stock radio control. It was pretty cool. So I guess apparently you need to transfer all this stuff over to the AutoTech Pro, and then you can put everything back in. So we're gonna go inside and do that. So we have the stock factory housing, the touch screen, and now we have the AutoTech. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Looks pretty cool. So apparently we need to swap some stuff over to the back here somewhere. So we're gonna work on that now. How cool is this? Man, that's awesome. Hey guys, so I bought Winfield something. Uh, his bottom door seals were a bit scratched up. So I saw this online. Someone had talked about replacing them. So. I, we've been buying parts here and there, so I wanted to surprise him with this uh, with this piece. So I'm gonna go take it to him real quick. So another thing I'm looking to do are these floor panels. Uh, they are something that is jacked up on my truck. So check this out. I don't like that. So I'm gonna change this side out. It's pretty bad with these. Check out this. Like the driver's side is like really, really bad. So I wanted to go ahead and replace it. So it's really scratched up. So I'm gonna surprise him with this. Slots for this. What, what do you mean you got the girl? I got, the, or the, well, the seals, door seals or whatever. The, I'm gonna change these out because they're pretty bad. You mean, you mean these? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me see. <laughs> you got the same thing, right? Yep. Seriously? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, well maybe we can put a, both on at the same oh, time. Dang. So it looks like we got a set of these to give away. So you guys can expect that to be given away here shortly on the forums. So just keep a lookout for that. We will be giving these away to somebody who is liking and subscribing our posts. All right, this is one of the easiest mods ever. You basically just lift this up. It exposes all the nastiness under there it off that's pretty much it all 
Alrighty guys, so we are back on the dyno today here at Hammer with the Raptor that is stage two. So they just got done installing the intercooler. So we're gonna get this truck back on, do a couple of pulls and see how it does power wise. So we're rolling the truck and the first thing I notice immediately are the charger temperature are down already 20 degrees. So the intercooler is doing its job. What's nice about this too is that because we're in a closed room and it's warmer in here, the intercooler is gonna, gonna help out a lot more than it would uh, over the stock intercooler. So the pull should be a lot more consistent. So let's get our first pull going here. So real brief guys, uh, we wrapped up our stage two pump gas tuning and it made 454 wheel horsepower and 541 foot pounds of torque. So that's right in line with the 440 to 450 that I, I always uh, advertise and I'm happy with those numbers. So we're gonna move on to the E50 tuning and wrap up stage two on E50. So right now we're sitting at 490 wheel horsepower and 566 foot pounds of torque. So that's right about where we say we're gonna be uh, between 45 and 505. So I'm gonna try for some more power. If it makes it, it makes it. If not, that's okay. Um, 500 horsepower would be cool, but it's really hot in here and it's really windy today. I don't know if you guys can see back there, but it's just real bad. So the conditions aren't ideal, but we will give this another shot. We'll keep on tuning and we'll see how much more power we can pull out of it. Alright guys, so we just finished up and we made 501 wheel horsepower and 576 foot pounds of torque. So that's right in line. Um, I'm super excited with these numbers. Uh, that's going to finish up our stage 2 tuning. Um, at this point now we're going to go ahead and throw on all of the Cobb dress up parts. We're going to throw the turbos on, we're going to throw the manifolds on, the injectors, the AMS catted downpipes, uh, the boost tubes, everything. We're going to put everything on that's in our GT750 kit and then we're going to move forward with that. And that wraps up stage two. Thanks guys, appreciate it. So catch you in the next one.